dear brothers and sisters, dear friends. Now, the year 2021 is definitely in the past, a year which is more valuable than all the previous ones. Did you get too much sun, or was your bath too hot? No, dear friends, that is not the reason for this statement. Let us look at the people of Israel of the Old Covenant, before the birth of Jesus. It serves as an example for the behavior patterns of the nations. A blessed, hard-working, and humble rise was eventually followed by a renewed turning away from God, degeneration, and moral decay. Foreign peoples brought humiliation through attacks, abduction, and subjugation. Why? Because there was no stability in trusting the Lord, no steadfastness in faith, and no enduring humility before the divine guidance. There were always domineering, selfish, uncaring, and arrogant fools who puffed themselves up as kings and priests and baited the people with all kinds of material benefits, or simply threatened and seduced the people. Either way, in the end, any distancing from God leads into captivity to foreign powers. Today, we are at a crossroads for all mankind on this earth. Evil leads us into a captivity which wants to make of us willless, faith-dead machines. The education, the orientation, or rather brainwashing by education and media, the physical dependencies, the financial fetters, and the political absurdities are set up and effective according to plan. Now, only one or several global threats are needed, and evil takes the last step with the lambs, away from God. But as long as we are still able to think for ourselves, and above all, pray, we do not give up. Salvation is not in the hands of worldly or spiritual leaders on this earth but rather in returning to the true values taught by Jesus Christ. No, not the churches. No, not medicine. No, not politics. No, not science. And no, not any human ideas and interpretations will set us free, but only Jesus and an intimate relationship with him. Let us pray that more and more people will seek and subsequently find the way to their salvation. Dear friends, with trust, prayer, and active brotherly love, we were allowed to fly through these 12 months together in spirit. We all stood up for each other in praying for protection and guidance, in serving through word and deed, and also financially. Many heartfelt thanks for every stirring of the heart, every sigh, every intercession, and every donation. On behalf of our family, as well as our poor families in Uganda, Gambia, Thailand, and Nicaragua. We thank you all for your faithful support. We look forward to greeting each of you in the near future in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, as he has promised. So, let's persevere together in this coming year under the guidance of Jesus and remain strong, united, and indomitable until the Lord is coming. We wish you a richly blessed new year. In his love, Theo, Jackie, and Pascal.